Hi everyone, welcome to an EOP application tutorial provided to you by San Diego State's EOP office. Today we're going to review how to create an account and complete the EOP application on Cal State Apply. First things first, you're going to want to open a Google window and type in Cal State Apply. Go ahead and click that. You're going to scroll down and click apply now. You're going to go down to create an account and you're going to fill in um, your relevant information. So as you can see, I'm going to actually go through and fill in my information. Please fill in the information that is relevant to you. After you, after you type in your email address, you're going to confirm it. Go down and write in a phone number that is the best number to contact you should any campuses have questions. The next section is text notifications. You can choose whether or not you would like text. Your username. You should definitely choose a username that you are going to remember because it will allow you to enter and exit the account manager so that you can come back to your applications should you not finish them in one sitting. Of course, go through and choose a strong password and a security question. If you see here, my favorite color is pink. Agree and create your account. I go ahead and click continue. And then we have a few set of questions. You're going to go through and write in your education level. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to pretend I am a first time freshman applying for undergraduate admission. So I'm going to type, click undergrad. I'm going to write graduating high school senior. Have I completed college credits? For the purpose of this video, no. Please put in the information that is relevant to you and your situation. I have not attended a CSU campus. I am not a member of the military and my citizenship status. I'm gonna save the changes. So before we actually begin our application, we are just gonna go through and read these um, four slides that they provided here. I'm just going to give you a little time to do that. This one talks about selecting your program. Go ahead and read that. The next one talks about tracking the progress of your application. And lastly, how to manage your application on the go. Looks like we're ready. This next screen allows you to choose what type of program you are applying to. I want to begin next August, so I'm going to click select and then go down to fall 2018. This next screen allows you to filter out the majors by campus. I'm going to choose San Diego State. Then delivery format is face to face because I would like to be on campus. And then as you can see here, we have program name, degree type, delivery format, the location, source, term, and deadline. For the purpose of this application, I'm going to go ahead and click aerospace engineering. So if you see here, the application total is $55 and we can continue. So this next screen shows the four quadrants that are on your application. We have personal information, academic history, supporting information, and then program materials. We are filling out the EOP application that is under personal information. So you see all of the different tabs that you have to complete for your campus application. We're going to go down to Educational Opportunity Program. So this is our actual EOP application. The first question we have is EOP information. Do you wish to apply to EOP? Yes. 
Have you previously attended a CSU? Not applicable. Are you interested in EOP is the next section. So this one is asking you if you participated in any of the following programs. If you did, please go ahead and complete that. You will have to do the date, attended, campus, avid campus and location and then it asks you the same question for every program that you're in so if you are or were in any of the programs listed please do write those down I plan on living on campus I have zero brothers and sisters in K-12 one person attending college and zero of my siblings have completed a bachelor's what language is spoken at home? Spanish. And then in the past 10 years, have I received any assistance? No. Have you or your family participated in publicly funded subsidized housing? Um, this question is asking if you contribute to the household. I worked at Subway Sandwiches while in high school. Next is your parent information. So please do write down your parents' name the highest level of education, their occupation, financial status. So this is asking you for 2018 income. And if you notice, it says estimated. So please do your best in estimating the income for next year for both parents if you can. Your household size. Are you independent of parent support? I'm going to say no. But if you are, please click yes and continue the questions. Next, we have our short answer questions. There are five different short answer questions that you must respond to. I would highly suggest copying and pasting the question into a Word document so that Word can catch any spelling errors or mistakes that you may have. These questions are very important so that we can get a better idea of you and your background. Next, we're going to go back to our dashboard and into supporting information where we can find our EOP recommendations. Remember, you need two letters of recommendations for the program. We're going to create a recommendation request. Please talk to the person you are asking to recommend you before sending a request to them so that they know to look out for it in their email. So on this screen, you're going to list your recommendation recommender's information. First name, last name, email address, EOP deadline, November 30th, and then a quick message to let them know how grateful you are for completing this. Next, we are going to have the waiver of recommendation. Then read permissions to contact recommender. Click yes if you agree, and permissions for school to contact recommender. Yes if you agree. And remember, you need to complete this recommendation request two times because you will need two letters of recommendation for your EOP application. Thank you so much for sitting through this application process with me. I truly hope you will consider applying to San Diego State Educational Opportunity Program. Please follow us on social media. We have an Instagram, a Facebook, and a YouTube channel where you can find this video. Please share it to all of your friends who are considering applying to EOP. And remember, if you have any questions, please feel free to email us or call us at our office. We look forward to seeing you at San Diego State.